Hey everybody, it is Saturday the 26th, 8.30, I'm at an undisclosed location in a Walmart parking lot. And I have been using the Wi-Fi of the place I've been staying at. Uh, so that's how I'm going to be able to get this video up, because I feel like I owe it to you guys. Today's Let's Talk is going to be really cut and dry and short. Because I don't have my materials on me. Uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, Vrilon broadcast interruption. Um, you're wondering, what is that? In 1977, November 26th, during the news... I want to say the nightly news uh, in southern England, I believe. There was a broadcast interruption by someone calling themselves Vrilon of the Ashtar Galactic Command. And they delivered a message of warning and peace at the same time. To sum it up, Throw away your weapons of destruction and death, because we only have a short time to live together peacefully. So, and that's pretty much it. And then that they've been watching us for a long time. You can look this up on YouTube many ways. You can look up the Vrilon broadcast incident, or... Search top fives, top tens, top fifteen broadcast interruptions. Um, you can do all sorts of things. Now I'm going to have a link to the Wikipedia in the description because it actually has the transcript and its various forms. Uh, there is a transcript, so. Um, I, I'm saying don't just take the Wikipedia article with a grain of salt. But uh, I personally believe that this was a real thing. Because a lot of people are divided by saying it's a hoax. Some people say it's real. Uh, the people who say it's a hoax go on two things. One that to interrupt the broadcast they would have needed to have a powerful uh, communications signal to interrupt the, the stations and two I'm getting a little parched here it's not even 9am it's already hot as balls but uh Number two is that if this was an alien, why is he talking in a British accent? Okay, now I'm going to go step by step here with what I feel. I do feel this is real, like I said. And despite the fact that it's unsolved leaves me to believe that this happened from the inside the station. Uh, somebody who was working there. Now this goes into number two. The reason why he had a British accent for being an alien is because the person was either channeling or this specific alien entity named Rilan met this person's perfect conditions for you know to be taken over 
either Vrillon channeled into or the guy at the uh, station channeled into him. So, either way, somebody was channeling. And hold on. So, and that would be why he has a British accent. Now, when I was taking psychic development classes from 2012 to 2014, uh, my psychic development teacher, uh, Mr. Stanley, he had, uh, channeled one of his spirit guides for us live. So I saw it with me peepers. And, and if you know anything about channeling and mediumship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He basically stepped out of his body, let his spirit guides go into his body. Now, his tone of voice took a little bit deeper uh, sounds to it, but not much. But other than that, it was, you know, using his tone of voice. Just a little bit deep. Now, I've seen other people channel, and their vocal range changed as well, either higher or lower. But, again, those people are here on YouTube, so... The only actual thing I can say is what Mr. Stanley did. Because this was a gateway into uh, reading a book on channeling. Which I have at home. I have a book on how to channel. But, uh, I don't know why I never finished it, but whatever. So, uh, I don't know why I did that. I'm goofy. I'm tired. Um, so this is possibly not a hoax. And it makes sense that it would be from within. Because they couldn't find any other station or whatever to interrupt into. You can look this up on YouTube. Like I said, there's uh, it's on top lists of broadcast interruptions. Uh, you can look it up by itself. Uh, just type in Vrillon broadcast interruption. It'll also come up as Southern something interruption. Um, because it was in like a southern part of England, I think. But just type in Vrillon, V I or V R I L L O N, um, and it'll pop up. Uh, there is a record that there's an actual recording, but no actual video. Now the people saying that there are, uh, that there is, sorry, bad English. Uh, the people saying that there is an actual video are talking about a reenactment video. That this was a reenactment video. Which, either way, does the same thing. It takes the actual recording and puts it to a mock-up. But uh, channeling is not too uh, far-fetched, if you, if you believe into that sort of thing. I do. I do believe in aliens, as well as demons, so. Um, so I don't think this is a too far-fetched idea. I uh, wish there was more I could say about it, but, again, I don't have, you know... 
I don't have any extra sources. God damn fly. I don't have any extra sources with me. I don't have my books. I don't have my phone. Plus, I'm not in a... I don't have data for that phone anyway, so... But, uh... I know it looked weird there, but whatever. But, um... But, yeah. Uh... There's just... I mean, there's more questions than answers, obviously. But, uh... Channeling is probably the best answer to give. As an explanation. How or why... Uh, the person who channeled this entity... Why his conditions were right for it... Who knows? Um... Maybe he was just having a good day. Energies, ener psychic energy, psychic energy speaking. He was having a good day. Maybe the stars were right. I don't know, but uh, who knows? So, um, let me know what you think. If you were old enough to remember this broadcast, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, me, myself, I only discovered this back in 2015. I was born in 1983, so I was a little late to the party. Um, I was too young to remember the next broadcast interruption which was Captain Midnight in 1986 but that was only to HBO and then 10 years after the Verlon thing but one year after Captain Midnight was the Max Headroom incident in Chicago so you can look all this stuff up on on YouTube so um, Captain Midnight was solved the Max Headroom incident is still unsolved as well. But uh, enough of my yapping. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being patient with me. And I will see you all later. And uh, peace.